few final tips for you to help you in your application for a PhD at Queen's. The first thing and most important thing is start early. It does take quite a lot of time to prepare an application. If you think about all the work you need to do with a potential supervisor to develop your proposal, that takes time. There's also quite a lot of documentation that you need to get together in terms of your uh, degree transcripts uh, and other information that you'll need to provide to us. Decide on your area of specialism at an early stage. That's going to define so much of what comes next. Spend time researching potential supervisors. This is one of the most important decisions that you're going to make. So you need to know that you're going to get on with this person and that in terms of their approach to the subject area, you have complementary interests and approaches. Come and have a look at the city. Uh, you're going to be spending three to four years here, so make sure this is a place that you want to spend your time. And your supervisors will be delighted to meet with you at that point. You can come and see our accommodation. You'll get the opportunity to see all of the facilities that are available to you as a PhD student at Queen's. Make sure you're well prepared in terms of your documentation, in terms of your transcripts, your, your IELTS qualifications. Don't be afraid to ask questions. If there's any part of the process that you're uncertain of, talk to your potential supervisor, but also talk to colleagues in admissions. And of course, there's also the ask AHSS at qub.ac.uk email address, and that will always help you be directed to the person who can answer your questions. And finally, make sure you spend enough time on your actual application because that involves contacting your referees, it involves collecting all of your transcripts, your degree certificates, so make sure you take your time to do that and also give an opportunity for someone else to proofread it for you. It's so important to make a good first impression and part of that is making sure that everything is done as it should be and that everything is correct and there are no typos.